in mind, tipping is permitted. <laughs> tipping! <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> to think I'd live to have a rap sheet! Oh, if my mother were alive, she'd be so proud. <laughs> Remember, your grandma was a suffragette. Correct. You haven't heard the last from us, Mrs. Von Tussle. We'll be marching again, and soon to the beat of a whole new era. Bang your drum, Bonzo. No one cares. And don't get any more cute ideas about protesting or even showing up at the special. I'll have armed guards surrounding the eventorium to make sure Tracy can't get within a hundred miles of that place. <laughs> Game, set, match. And the governor himself. Oh, the governor, really? <laughs> Sweet chubby Miller. We dated on and off in college. It pays to have a politician in your pocket. And Polaroids in the safe. Now, if you double white twins will excuse me, I have a national television spectacular to produce. <laughs> I was never here. This never happened. Oh, Tracy! Any message for Link? Please to tell my Luke. I'll be sure he gets so long, Baltimore. I still don't care for them. I hear you, Miss T. This old jail just got a whole lot nicer. You got a visitor. Bail has been posted. Thank the Lord for those who can afford. I posted bail. Super. How? Simple, really. I mortgage the hottie ha. Oh, Tony. But that place is your life. You two are my life. Bail for everyone. Bail for the house. <laughs> Tracy Turnblad is here with and forthwith with help without bail. She will be moved to solitary confinement and held there until further notice by special order of the governor's office. So there. The governor's office? <gasps> Mrs. Von Tussle! Manipulating our judicial system just to win a contest is that American. <laughs> Don't make things worse for yourselves. Move out peacefully. I'm not leaving here without my daughter. It's okay, Daddy. They can't keep me in here forever. Besides, I have a lot to think about. Might as well do it in solitary refinement. I'm counting to three. And I'm re-arresting you all for illegal trespass. Let's go. We can't do Tracy any good here. Touch one hair on my little girl's head and I'll be back to teach you a whole new meaning for split ends. Keep the faith, baby. Damn, you're the last. You're so lucky to get out of the algebra final! <laughs> uh, uh, oh. I'm all alone. My heart has grown. But it's broken too. This morning, life was a
Hello? Oh, Mr. Pinky. Oh, I understand you have an empire to protect, but, uh-huh. Well, yes, I'll return the outfits. Oh, the penny pants, too. I scarcely wore them twice. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Pinky, she's just a little girl. And little girls make mistakes. If they didn't, where would all the little girls come from? <laughs> well, yes, it is too bad. Goodbye, Mr. Pinky. Oh, Wilbur, this is a real mind all moment. I'm closing up. <laughs> Wilbur, my stomach's in knots, my nerves are on edge. Calm down, sweetheart. I can't calm down. There are names for women who've abandoned their daughters who've gotten themselves arrested for trying to integrate an after school SOCOM type television show. <laughs> and Hallmark does not make a card for any of them. Can't worry about people calling you names. You know how many times I've been called crazy? And I say, yeah, crazy. Crazy like a loon. <laughs> anyway, we have an abandoner. In fact, I got this for Tracy Needs here. Stand back. What do you think? Isn't it a doozy? Impressive? But how's that little thing going to help our Tracy? You'll be surprised. Oh, sure, you're a visionary inventor, saving the day. Tracy's a teen idol reshaping the world. And what am I? I had a dream, too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? Until I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest McCall's pattern. <laughs> But still, I always hoped that one day I would put on my own line of queen-size dress patterns. You're good, Edna. Get, what did get me? Twenty years later, I'm still washing and ironing and mending everyone else's clothes. One day, Edna. No day, Wilbur. Well, my time has come and gone. I'm like a half-filled book of green stamps. Beyond redemption. <laughs> oh, Wilbur. Go ahead. I suddenly feel so old. Nonsense, doll! You're spry as a slinky. Whenever I hear you, it's like grabbing hold of a giant joy buster. Styles keep a changing, the world's rearranging. But Edna, you're timeless to me. Hemlines are shorter, a beer costs a quarter. But time cannot take what comes free. Soon there'll be nothing at all. So you'll wear a 
is a fresh coat of paint. And you got me going hot and heavy.
from the show. Link over here! Shh! The guard's asleep. <laughs> Gee, you look beautiful behind bars. <laughs> Must be the low level institutional lighting. Link, what are you doing here? Tracy, seeing you get dragged off the jail brought me back to my senses. I thought I'd lose it when I thought I'd lost you. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sing, I couldn't even concentrate. You couldn't eat? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I went down to the station to tell Mrs. Von Tussle that I was through with the Miss Hairspray broadcast. You did? I didn't. When I got down to the station, I overheard Mrs. Von Tussle talking to Spritzer. Tracy and Dan from the town scouts were coming to see me. Had nothing to do with me. You know, all this time I thought Amber and I were a team. It turns out she and her mother were just using me to make her look popular. I feel like such an idiot. That makes two of us. Now, I know that a palooka like me isn't worthy of a groundbreaking extremist like you, but. A little scuff from an amber through to my face when I told her I'd rather be with you. You did? I did. So would you consider wearing my ring? Would I? Would I? Not to lose me or to lose myself. Some kid named Milton wrote that in the third floor boys' room. It's beautiful. I have a good life. Great parents, my own room, stacks of forty fives, three sweaters, plus a learner's permit. But they're all. But they can't stop us from singing. Once I was a selfish fool who never understood. I never looked inside myself. The one the outside, I looked good. Then we met, and you made me the man I am today. Tracy, I'm in love with you. No matter what you weigh, without love, life is like the seasons without summer.
special night, your ring, and our very own blowtorch. <laughs> Yourself famous. No, I just think it's stupid. We can't all dance together. 
so you tried once and you failed. We can't get lazy when things get crazy. Children, you're not the first to try and you won't be the last. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to keep lining up until someday somebody breaks through. And I've been looking at that door a lot longer than you. What door? The front door. There's a light in the darkness, though the night is black as my skin. There's a light shining bright, showing me the way. But I know where I've been. There's a cry in the distance.
Velma, I'm a total stranger. You! Damn. Guards, riot squad! I want everybody out of the lobby and up here pronto! Huh. What is this? Some kind of a Trojan horse? Well, of course. And what's inside? Your jailbird daughter? Not a chance. Yeah, well, if she's hiding in that can, she'll rot in that can. Guard, if anybody so much as touches that thing, open fire. Understood, ma'am. You win this time, Von Tussle. You win. of the competition where the front runner gals present a dance of their own creation. Oh, presently it appears that Amber Von Tussle and Tracy Turnblad are neck and neck. But since, according to the latest police bulletins, Miss Turnblad is still at large. At very large. <laughs> yes. Our Miss Hairspray might just be a foregone conclusion. Still, our rules say the contestant has to dance for it. Are you ready, Amber? <laughs> Thank you. 
Peace. 